Hello folks and welcome to another game for my random games playlist. This is one I found on itch.io called Camp One. And uh... <clears throat> pardon me, it uh... It seems to have issues running in full screen and at a widescreen resolution, so I'm um, playing this in a little window basically and I've upscaled it uh, in Vegas, so hopefully it doesn't look weird. Uh, <laughs> it's uh... The description says, a short, dark story about bureaucracy, penal labor, isolation, and desperation. Let's see what this is all about. Sorry if you hear some background road noises. I'm working on soundproofing, just not there yet. There's a weird buzz going on. Home. I don't know where home is anymore. They're letting me out today. Well, technically I'm released after everything's loaded from the transporter onto a deep space freighter. One last bit of penal labor for the company. Then I'm free to go home. Except I don't have anything to call home. As a matter of fact, I don't really have anything. Even the clothes I'm wearing are company property. So I guess I'll be both homeless and naked. But I'll be free. There will be no more endless cargo shipping from ground to orbit and back again. No more working with jamming machinery and poor light with frozen fingers. No more failing power supply, jamming water purifier, or fires in the heating system. But it doesn't feel like going home. Because I don't know, really know where home is anymore. Is everything ready? Hey, Korski. What's that? Or what's that? Is everything ready for takeoff? I think we got everything loaded. Are you alright? Sure. Sure I'm alright. What are you standing out here for anyway? Oh, I was just... <coughs> narrating. Are you done with the... the paperwork? Did you bring the form? The what? The cargo form. Oh, right. That. I was looking for that. Well, hurry up. You're running late. I know, I know. <clears throat> it's around here somewhere. Sure, just hurry up, will ya? Okay, okay, don't give yourself- don't get yourself a heart attack, Adwa. Interesting name. One. Icarus. Chapter one, I would assume. I really like the art style in this game. The retro looks really cool. The cargo form. I gotta find that darn piece of paper or I'll never be able to leave on schedule. Oh, it's okay. Like a point and click. Gotcha. <coughs> Pardon me for the coughing. Um, guess we can check the cargo hold. Uh, I need a better reason than curiosity to open that. There's nothing useful in here. I don't need gas. Besides, the valve has been broken for at least as long as I've been around. Boxes are all sealed up. Okay, nothing in there then. <coughs> Excuse me, playing this just after I woke up. Just got smoker's morning lung going on. Pallet jack, it's not on. Okay, we'll check the tent then. Uh... Nobody in there. Yeah, but what about the form? Somebody in here. Uh, good to get out of the outdoor gear for a while. Talking to yourself again, old man? Old man. <laughs> oh, old man? You're older than me. Marginally. Right. <laughs> Workbench, bad idea. Parker would slap my fingers. You bet she would. <laughs> Tools. 
Need anything in particular? Not really, no. And keep your hands off my tools. Okay, sure. Desk. I don't see anything useful on this desk. Screen. I don't have time for messing with that. Besides, I don't even have a login. Hmm. I don't have time to search through filing boxes. Well, you're looking for a form, buddy. It's too dark back there to read. Besides, science books make me feel stupid. So why do I even come in here? Controls? <laughs> oh no, you don't. What? Eh. <laughs> okay. I guess we're not finding it in here. So where am I? Oh, there's someone here. Adwa. Hey, Adwa. Hmm? You know where the key for the pallet jack is? It's a little late to start rearranging the cargo now, isn't it? Do you or do you not know where the key is? Okay, okay, keep your trousers on. Here you go. Now be careful when using the pallet jack. It's not very safe. Why? It locks up in full throttle sometimes. Again. It worked just fine a minute ago. And now it's acting up. Chen nearby ran over herself. Nearly ran over herself. Now keep that in mind, thanks. I guess there's no key. Okay, well. Now there is. Okay, the key's in place. Oh boy, what are we going for? Do I need to go in and move the boxes? Where's forward? Huh. <laughs> How efficient. It knew right where I wanted to go. <laughs> okay, that was not supposed to happen. I told you to be careful, damn it. Uh. That's where I wanted it to go, though. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Forward. Um. Lift. Boxes are all sealed up. You don't say. Lift. Doesn't look safe to go any higher. Fine. Alright. Turn it off. Is there anything under the... No. Okay. I want to use the pallet jack, though. Lower. Reverse. I'm just going to move boxes around until I find it. Um... How do I bring it down? It's already down. Okay. Bringing it forward doesn't seem to do anything. Forward. Okay, well then lift it. What did that do? Um. Doesn't seem to be anything else I can really do with it. Cockpit. I didn't even look in there. No, I could come in here. Windshield. Controls. Not ready for takeoff yet. Okay, well. No, I don't want my I want dirt on my windshield. So you're the pilot, huh? Nothing doesn't appear to be anything else I can do in there. So this pallet jack, like you would think this would do something, because I can't seem to bring this pallet jack anywhere else. See if anything changed somewhere. Yeah, what? Eh? What was I supposed to do again? You need to get everyone's signature on that cargo form, including your own. I'm still looking for that. Well, you better hurry up. Right. Well, I can't find the damn thing. Is this the only... All the places that are out here? Nobody in there. Can't seem to go anywhere else. 
This is a really bleak camp. There's only a few. Let's talk to Parker. Hey, Parker. What? You seen a cargo form lying around somewhere? You can't find the paperwork for today's shipment? No, no, it's around here somewhere. I just can't find it. Right. Sorry, I haven't seen it. Well, you've been helpful. Oh, what are you waiting for? Start looking. All right, all right. Look, I know your last flight. It's your last flight and all that. Yes, I know. I can't afford to be late. Well, I'm time to sit around. Where do you want me to look? Looking for the damn thing. Okay, right click does something. The combined lab and workshop is set up in that tent. That tent is the living area. It beds, a multi-purpose kitchen, and the only bathroom in the camp. You get used to it. Ed was the camp geologist and takes care of some of the paperwork. He's the newest addition to our little group. Although he's been here for quite a while now. Time really flies when you're having fun, doesn't it? Okay, I forgot I, I didn't realize I could right-click to examine certain things. Parker. That's Parker, the camp technician. She's a, a small framed lady with a big mouth. Oh, it's a lady, huh? Speaking of big mouth... Controls. Those are the environment controls for the tent. Screwdrivers, pliers, drills, sol soldering irons, and uh, things I don't know the names of. Parker's workbench. It's usually a mix of parts from nearly every machinery in the camp. I know exactly where everything is, thank you. A desk with a workstation screen on it. Just like everything else in this place, these are old military equipment. They're very rustic and reliable in the field, but not very powerful or user-friendly. They never gave me one of my own. Which suits me fine. Books on science, I think. Small box with papers or rock samples in it. Search the damn box. Do I have any? Oh. Oh. Um, resume. Oops. Doesn't seem to be anywhere else I can go. Uh, why can't I find this damn form? It's nowhere to be found. Maybe I need to go examine some other things now. Ship. The transporter. I'm supposed to take it into orbit and meet up with the freighter. Once everything's ready, that is. Transporter here. Okay. Let's go back inside then. It's a pallet jack for lifting heavy crates. Hmm. It says high voltage on it. It says emergency equipment on the label, but it's actually full of old useless lashing straps. It's supposed to contain some kind of gas, but I think it's empty. Okay. Seriously, <laughs> I right clicked on the boxes. Ah, there it is. Okay, so now I gotta go talk to people. Now I've gotta go get them to sign this thing. Gotcha. Including this guy. Hey, Adwa. Eh? What was I supposed to do again? Oh, right. Right. Okay. Well, there's only one other person other than you, as far as I can tell. Just Parker. I don't see... They mentioned a Chen, but I haven't seen Chen. Could you sign this for me? What is it? So what do you expect me to sign this with? A screwdriver? Don't you have a pen somewhere? I think there's one in that desk over there. You're seriously gonna make me go get the pen from the desk. Ah, uh, a pen. Told you so. Well, couldn't you have just... Did you sign this for me? What is it? Thanks. Ah, how simple. Okay. Well, we got Parker's signature. If I'd known from the get-go that right-clicking gave me more actions, I would have... I would have done more. Let's see if we can get him to sign this. Here's the form. There you go. Thanks. 
Now chop chop. Right? Is there no one else? Just the two people? Do I have to use this form on myself? Nobody in there. Can't use it on myself. Okay, I guess we'll go back inside. We better, um, drop those boxes. Oh, someone is in here. Korski, you scared me. Everything okay? Sure, sure, you just startled me, that's all. So what are you doing in here? We're just about ready for takeoff. Okay, I'm just doing some final checks on the cargo. I'm the one to blame if things don't add up, remember? Yes, I remember. Right, you have the cargo papers for me? Got them right here. Beautiful. And that cargo is all messed up. There. Okay. Uh, I should probably drop the... Okay, um... What? I'll... See you later, Korski. Am I being sent off to my doom? Sure. See you later, Chen. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, let's lower that and let's take that pallet jack out of there. Seems to be stuck. I guess we don't need it that much now anyways. All right. Well, let's go to the cockpit and see if we can leave. Not ready for takeoff yet. Still not done with the this darn cargo form. I'm not. Oh, do I need to bring him back to dude after I've signed it? I forgot. Hey, Edward. I'm not sure what to do at this point. You can start by signing the cargo form yourself. Right. Signed. Okay, that would be all the signatures. It's about time I get going. Sure is. Now give me the form and be on your way. Here's the form. Thank you. Seems to be in order. Of course it's in order, you moron. I'm just double checking. You're always double checking, Adwa. There, off you go. You say so. Why do I get the feeling it's not that simple? I need to use the navigation unit. What navigation unit? What navigation unit? What are you talking about? The screen is for the main controls. The navigation unit. Okay. Okay. I'll just need to receive the coordinates from the freighter. Nope. Something's failing. Better go ask for help. Yeah, of course. You can pilot this thing and you've done it so many times, but you still don't know how to problem solve? Okay, let's ask, uh, guess this guy? Hey, Edward. Not getting any coordinates from the freighter. Well, I don't know squat about flight computer systems. You need to talk to Parker about that. Uh, guess I should have assumed. Hey, Parker. What? The transporter's nav system is not receiving any coordinates. Oh, that. The auto update link thingy is not doing what it should. I don't know why. I'll go. I'll look into that later. But the freighter usually arrives at pretty much the same spot every time, anyway. So I'll have to navigate the last bit on visual. Just give them a shout if you get lost. It's, it's a manned freighter for crying out loud. Oh, that sounds safe. Are you done using that pen, by the way? Sure. There you go. Thanks. It's the only working pen left in the entire camp. You should send for more, some more, then. I have. But the higher-ups want us to use computers for everything these days. 
Is that why there's never any loo paper? Oh, don't remind me. <laughs> I guess I'm good to go then. Hmm. And I won't be coming back. Nope. Goodbye. Hey. Forget about this place, will you? I don't think I could, even if I wanted to. Guess we're out of there. Shuttle to camp. Camp here. Over. My go for orbit. Over. Um, hold on. I'm currently getting absolutely zero instrument data. As usual, then. Over. As usual. Uh, no, the computer's not getting through. Everything looking okay on your end? Over. Well, it's looking as usual. Over. Well, I guess you're a go, then. Just don't fly in the clouds. Over. Roger that, camp. I'm going into orbit. Out. Out. What the... Camp to shuttle. Your pings aren't getting through, over. Come in, shuttle. Kowarski? Two, the road to Nineveh. Oh, we're not done? Wow. Okay, wake up. Uh, okay, we're up. Oh boy. Let me see if I can read this. General status. I can't. It's upside down. No signal. Okay. Door status. Channels offline. Individual. I can't read any of this. Like, I can't flip upside down. So, lid, slots, input sockets. You have to plug something in. Okay. Oh, right. You click back. Uh, headset. The pilot headset. Personally, I prefer the speakers. <laughs> That's nice. The mainframe controls things... The mainframe controls things like flight and navigation. Yeah. Except for we're crash-landed now, dude. Like, locker. That locker got itself a good beating from those heavy boxes. Lucky for me, it didn't come loose. Anything in it? Stuck. I don't remember this ever being locked. Some of these boxes contain my equipment, but most of them are just left behind by lazy people. All of these are heavy enough to crush a man to pulp. I'm not getting stuck underneath one of those. The salvage people have machines for dealing with that. Okay, I guess uh, I should probably find some breathing equipment before messing with the door. So we gotta get this thing open. Trolls. They appear to be disconnected or broken, or both. Control and status terminal. Screen. Keyboard is broken, but the screen buttons seem okay. I don't have anything to put in there. Vent. A vent for air, I suppose. Yeah. It won't budge. Still stuck. I'm pretty sure I never locked this. Panel. Nothing happens. Touch panel on each side of the door. They would normally open it, but I think the red lamp meeting offline or lock means offline or locked or something. The panels are fixed with ordinary slotted screws. Doesn't feel very safe. 
I don't know if the it's the battery failing or something else, but the lighting is pretty dim in here. I should leave it alone. It's dark in here as it is. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, chair is no good to me now. Try the headset. Oh, I got a headset. Can I put it on the controls? What do I do with a headset? Windshield. <coughs> it held together, but only just. Thing to do here. It's running some kind of automatic self-repair routine. Well, good luck with that. Better not pick at it or the snow will come blasting in. Okay. So I have a headset. Metal bar. There we go. Why didn't I see that? Okay, let's use that on the locker. Not quite there. Getting there. There we go. Finally. Anything in there? Already open, right? There's nothing in there except for my outdoor gear. Well, you should probably take that. Suit. Right. Oh, I saw that. Something shiny. What's this? Oh. Just bits from the locker. Pretty useless. Really? You say that now, but what about... Um, hinge. Now, why would the hinge input socket? Can't plug that in. Hinge. Uh, what do I use the hinge for? The vent. Maybe we can use the pipe on the vent. I'm not even close to getting this open. Okay. Uh, you can't get sound output from it. The plug fits, though. Okay, um, shite, what do I do here? Further back, that's a really bad idea. It's pitch black back there and those heavy crits could fall over at any moment. <clears throat> okay, uh... You said this fit into there. Okay, that, uh, I flipped over to read that, but it didn't actually help me with anything. Um, one of the hinges from the locker. I don't know why I picked this up in the first place. Yeah, me either. It's completely, oh, it's completely broken except for this little washer in the middle. Okay. Can we do something with the screen here? Oh! Panel. The screws are out. Something happens. Oh. Turn counterclockwise. The two big knobs are the only things in here. I guess everything else is hidden even further in. This doesn't seem to be getting me anywhere. Why would I turn it clockwise? Okay, use the washer on this panel. There. Got them all out. Okay, does that mean the door open? The door's open remotely. How long am I gonna sit here loosening these things? Doesn't seem to do anything. Like, what do you want me to do? These two knobs can turn in either direction. Pilots aren't supposed to be looking behind panels. So I have absolutely no idea what all this is for. They would probably accuse me of espionage if they found me digging in there. Well, I don't know where they want me to go with this. Oh, hey, I got it. What the hell? <laughs> Just sat there messing with them for long enough, I guess? Alright, well, let's go out. Right. Into the eternal frozen evening, then. Sounds like a bad novel. Bad idea. I should stay here until I know which way to go. Things look more distant than they actually are in this light. But those hills really look remote. Debris. He's trying to dig that out. It's too big for me to move. It's just sheet metal from the hull. Not much to do here. The transporter scraped off all the loose snow and packed the rest into concrete. 
Transporter plowed pretty deep, a pretty deep trench in the snow. Good thing the windshield held together. I would have been dead by now for sure. Mound. Snow's com too compact to move with my hands. Okay, so can I... That's my shuttle, or it was my shuttle. She's a belly up piece of junk with failing batteries now. I hope they won't stick the blame on this... Blame for this on me. Lantern. I have no use for a lantern. At least something's still functioning. Lump. I have no use for snow at the moment. Yeah. Planet. I can't do that. The huge dark thing is the moon's primary. They say it is even nastier than here, but I doubt it. I don't think the sky is clearing up with the stars don't come out. In fact, they never do. Okay, where do you want me to go here? Debris, debris. Oh. What's that? Component. The hole in it that looks like it's meant to hold something. Oh, wait, wait. Okay. Should we go back in the ship then? I should take the plug from the headset and attach it to this other thing. But I should try and find out what it does before ruining the headset. Try to find out what it does. Pretty sure this little socket used to hold something. Guess we dig up with the pipe. Okay, did we find something? Antenna. Okay. An antenna. Right. Snapped right in there. And we connect that with the headset. There, I took the plug from the headset and put it on the antenna. Okay, so we should go back to the ship now. Back to the screen. See if we can plug this in. These standardized plugs are pretty useful little things. Let's just hope they actually work in practice. Antenna found. Com link connection attempt. Available. Okay, I don't know. Looks like it actually managed to open a com link. There's not much else to do other than broadcast a mayday with regular intervals. Okay. Can I do anything here now? Okay, here he goes. Hello? Can anyone hear me? This is a mayday call from uh, Transporter Gamma 200-1. I went down. Somewhere. I don't have any proper coordinates. But I should be a few kilometers east of Camp 001 drill test site. Please respond. Parker? Anyway, I'll be broadcasting with short intervals on to save energy out. Okay, um... Here we go again. Same mayday. Korsky, that you? Parker? Can you get here? I'm in kind of a tight spot here. Hello? Nope, I've got a signal from the transporter, but I hear nothing but static and gibberish. Try and type something. Oh great, I can't type. The keyboard's fried. Still nothing. I'll try typing instead. Stay there if you can. I'll call for help, but it won't get through until a satellite comm goes back online. I'm turning on the beacon in the camp mast in case you need to get here. Should be able to see it from where you are. Can't get out myself at the moment. Breathing gear is acting up. Looping this broadcast on a 20 second tick. Good luck out there. Oh boy, so I gotta... <laughs> right. Satellite line's dead again, and so no one else will get here for at least, I don't know, 24 hours? Transporter's batteries are running out, and that door is certainly not closing again. 
I'll be dead in 24 hours if I stay here. Parker got my call and is lighting the warning beacon in the camp mast for me. It's visible for miles on a semi-clear day like today, so I should be able to spot it from here as well. Okay. Well, since you're not going to allow me to go anywhere else, how should I be able to see anything? Should be able to spot the beacon Parker lit for me. I was leaving this place, but things don't always work out the way you plan them. Oh. Finally, you move. Oh. Now I can... There it is. Light. There's the communications mast. Good job, Parker. Better start walking before my feet go numb. Just my luck. Of all the places on this frozen lump of ice, I end up on the wrong side of this damn gorge. There's no way I'm getting across or around this on foot. Rig. Oh boy, I wonder if this piece of junk still works. Probably not. It's been freezing over for a few days. Seems to be at least some power left. Okay. Gear, gorge, gear. Turn crane. It's not got any power? Oh, it does. Magnet. Oops. <laughs> that pile of gear is pretty firmly stuck in the snow. Good thing the counterweight system's working properly. As low as it goes. Oh, what the hell? Maybe I should have grabbed that one first. Everything in there weighs several tons and is covered by snow. Pile of equipment is partially buried in the snow. Most of it is drill segments. It's operated from the crane. Big electromagnet. We use it for lifting heavy things made of metal. Mostly drill segments. Okay. So should I get out of it now? I can't get out now. Drill rig. Right. Drilling holes, moving a few meters, drilling again. That's when we weren't doing repairs, and there was usually something to repair. Bring it back. See if we can grab this. Right. It won't move. Right. I gotcha there. Um, calibrate gyro. Let's see what this does. Some kind of recalibration button for the rig's gyroscope. I've never really had a reason to use it, so I don't really know how it works. Ignition. Wonder if the rig's gyro might need recalibration. Okay. Bad ignition. Better not. The engine will probably just drain the batteries. I can still operate the crane though. I'm not sure if they want me to tip this thing further so I can cross or what. Counterweight. It keeps the rig from falling over when the crane's lifting heavy things. 
Right. I'm assuming they want me to tip this thing over the gorge. I'm just, I've been sitting here for a few minutes trying to determine what to do here. It's got to have something to do with the gyro. Lift, calibrate gyro, lower, back and off. Oh, I can get back out of the rig. Counterweight, pin. I didn't realize it could get out. I can't get it out. Uh, use the pipe on the pin. Ah. Okay, I got the safety pin out. I wish I'd known I could get out could get out of the rig like 20 minutes ago. Okay, get back on this thing. The magnet pulled out the counterweight. Okay. Uh So now we should This rig just became a lot less safe place to be. Okay. So now maybe go to the other side. We don't have a counterweight anymore. Uh Lower the crane, turn on the magnet, lift. Ha! Finally! Oh man, if I'd known I could get back out of the rig. Okay, finally. My god, there it goes. I guess I was pushing my luck there. Ah, there's a train passing my house, hold on. Okay, so now can we go across? This is by far my worst idea ever. Well, it's better than sitting around here and freezing to death, isn't it? Are we finally out of here? Right. Back to the camp. Three. Riddles. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't like the sound of that. Hey, we're back. So I'm back on square one. I thought I'd seen the last of this place. It's so quiet down there. Funny. Parker always finds a way to make noise. They're probably just asleep. Come to think of it, I really have no idea what time it is. Okay. Control box, better leave it alone. The mask needs to work properly or the rescue people won't find their way here. No reason to climb that. No, there's not. I guess we better head down. Oh, he got down there fast. Okay, we're inside. Strange. Carbon and oxygen levels are not regulated at all in here. I wonder if they're trying to save energy or something. But why leave the big lights outside on? That doesn't make any sense. I should ask Parker before messing around with her things. Why th these lights are actually on back here? I don't need sliced pieces of rock right now. No, it's a sign. Okay. It's a box over here. Oh. Parker? Dead. Dead and cold. She must have died right after answering my mayday call. Breathing equipment is acting up, she wrote. Seems like the whole environment system has gone offline. Well, that's not good. Damn it, Parker. Okay, this is awkward. I'm just gonna borrow these, okay? What did I get? Get a grip, Korski. She's dead. She doesn't care and can't hear you. Okay. 
don't have anything to fill up with. Okay, it's a gas thing. Desk. Lots of stuff, but nothing useful. Screen. Oh, a screen. Okay. Database. Access restricted. Documentation. No data. Personnel data. Access restricted. Notes. Note to self. Got to have Chen change her password to a proper one. She's still using her own tag number. How stupid can you get? But with the addition of some dirty magazine she's been reading in the bathroom lately, I still cracked it in 30 seconds. Let's just hope the higher-ups don't decide on a system stress test anytime soon. The morons at materials department must have mixed up reference numbers again. No rocket science, but it took me an hour to figure out where they messed up. This would give me the following assembly chart. 447 beta, 448449, 890, 440, okay. Of course, 441 needs to be in there as well, or the damn thing will fall apart, obviously. Obviously, what the hell are you talking about? Okay. Um, research. Empty. System. Restricted. Schedule. Restricted. Temporary. Trash bin. Messages. Chen break-ins. Commander Nayar. Gene shipment. Message one. Parker, for the last time, stop breaking into my workstation account. I don't care if you call it security checks or stress tests or whatever. You don't have clearance, so you are still breaking in. Do you know the penalty for hacking company systems? I looked it up. Six months flat for non-time, non-first-time offenders, i.e. another six months of correction per break-in It would start if I would start making formal reports of it. I figured getting this in writing might work better for you since verbal information tends to escape your attention. June shipment. Progress Camp 1. Our analysis of your previous samples and test results have not been enough to convince the management. This makes June shipment extremely important since it potentially means green light for a full type 1 mining operation. Especially since your field report on the last drill cores have, have gave such promising data. It is therefore vital to the project that the June shipment arrives on schedule. I cannot stress the importance of this enough, Commander Nayar, Office of Prospecting. Okay, I guess that was it. For the computer. Um, shutting down the workstation will probably lock it as well. Okay, well, then exit. Papers. Some kind of spec chart for components. Oh boy. Filter unit casing, reference number. Swap 11448 and 11449. So one f I have, I'm going to write these down. Just give me a sec. Okay, so I don't know what these things are on the left, so I put them down as one, two, three, four, and five. Oh, since, okay, it, it does tell me what they are. Maybe I should write this down. Okay. I've written all that down. I have a feeling I'm going to need it. Um... Okay, uh, so what now? I checked the papers, did I... Yeah, swap filter membrane and filtration unit. I got you. Uh, should I take these? Um... Okay, what do I... What do we do now? Can I mess with these con Mask. What's this? This mask used to be identical to mine, but Parker can never use anything without modifying it in some way or another. So this one has all kinds of, of homemade cameras, lenses, tubes, and little blinking lights on it. No wonder the breathing functions gave up. The filter unit has been removed. I wonder if she fixed it. I can see quite a few parts from mask filters in there. Okay. So, tools. Okay, I got a screwdriver. Yeah, I've read that before. Do I use this on the workbench? 
The lungs on the wall. That's nice, but... Uh... Okay, I got a screwdriver. What about these controls? Can I mess with these? Do I use the screwdriver on the mask? I can operate the heating controls, but the filtering and oxygen levels are locked out somehow. Either there's been kind of some kind of system crash or Parker has done something that goes over my head. Neither would be a first. I'm turning off the heating. It might take a while before they come for Parker's body. Okay. Do we use this on the mask? No, it won't do any good. It basically filters out bad things and tops up with oxygen, whatever. The filter unit has been removed. R where is this filter? Should I be getting this filter? Oh, I picked up another tool. Pliers. I don't know what to do with it. Okay, can I just go back outside? Did I not need to stay in here? No. Unauthorized appliances. Guess someone got tired of tools wandering off. So I can't go outside. Oh, that's another strange thing. These air levels should have triggered a whole series of alarms. Parker couldn't have missed that. Just so I've been going back and forth in this room for a while now, and uh, I can't go outside. Put it back. Can I go outside now? Nope. Computer says my filter is worn out. Like, staying in here would make any difference. Okay. So I've got tools. Oh, here we go. I had to just trigger something else first. Okay. So, let me just... Hold on, and let me reference what I wrote down here. Camp casing fil filter uh, membrane sensor. Wait a minute, why didn't these go away? Do I have to do these again? Filter membrane filter filter's gone, but the membrane's still here. Cap. Cap is still there. Is that that? There we go. Think I got it. Well, fucking hope so. <laughs> I was messing around with that for a while. Let's see if this works. Okay, let's put these tools back so I can leave. <laughs> oh, I hate it when you have to. I mean, I had stuff written down, but I still had to try a bunch of different combinations because for a while I thought that I had to use up all those parts until they just anyways okay let's go back outside is that even possible hallelujah and the lights are off failing generator is just what I needed okay so I'm here what about this tent I don't think I've been in here. Okay, screen. There are no touch buttons available. Bridge. There's a fuse back there. I'd better leave it for now. At least as long as I don't need one. An all-around computer terminal. What a waste of energy. For a fridge? I don't think so. <clears throat> uh, not a good time for cooking, he says. All tin food has to be stored in here since they would freeze in the storage tent. Eater. I can't operate it from here, okay. Locker. Locked, but most of her stuff is on the workbench anyway. <clears throat> it's locked. Locked, okay, what about this key? That work on any of these? Hey! Lots of dirty laundry and some kind of big book. Good thing I'm wearing gloves. What? Manual. It's some kind of technical maintenance manual. Okay. Do I use it on myself? What do I use it on? Is there nothing else in the locker? 
Do these keys work on anything else? I never lock it. Wrong key. Wrong key, okay. Bunk. <laughs> Parker's bed, huh? The bottom one's Chen's bed. Top one's Parker's bed, okay. Uh, okay, what about this door? Uh, toilet. No need right now. It will turn pretty much anything you put in there into ashes. Interesting. Hose. I'm leaving the handle. Okay, so I got a hose and a manual. Okay, it's, uh... Not sure how useful any of that is. Laundry. <laughs> this wire may be useful. <clears throat> the laundry I can live without, okay? A wire, a hose, and a manual. Uh... Is there anything else in here? Or can I go to another tent now? Probably not mess with the controls. Let's see if we can go to another tent. Okay, what's wrong now? Hey! What are you doing back here? Adwa? No, it's Yeti. Of course it's me. The airlock is jamming over here. Can you override it from where you are? No. <laughs> well, yes, but I'm not going to. Not yet. What do you mean, not yet? Let me out. Have you... Have you seen Parker? I've found her. What do you make of it? I'm no doctor, but it looked like carbon dioxide to me. What are you getting at? The air level alarm system had been turned off. Yes, I realize that. And now Chen is gone. Don't you see? What? Something ugly is going on here. So you locked me up because you think I murdered Parker, is that it? Are you out of your mind? Listen, Parker's dead. Chen is nowhere to be found. For all I know, she may be dead as well. You left in the cargo shuttle and suddenly I find you sneaking around the camp. I don't think anything and I don't think anything and I am not out of my mind. I'm just taking precautions. The shuttle crashed. I've been walking for hours to get back here. Well, it's good to see you're alive and well then. But you're staying in there until I have had a look around. <laughs> Let me out or I'll kick the door in. Go lie down. You've really been walking for hours. Screw you, Adwa. And don't take your gear off. We can't trust the environment units anymore. Okay, so Chen is gone and Adwa thinks I killed Parker. Or at least that's what he says. And I'm locked inside another tent. I have to get out of here. Or I've got to get out of here. Okay. Uh. <coughs> well, can you use the pipe on the door? No. What about the controls? Did I do anything? Environment controls. Air blend. There's no point messing with the oxygen or filter controls. Heating. Uh, I don't think turning the heat all the way down is a good idea. Um, turn it all the way up. Might as well make it nice and toasty in here. Keyboard exit. Oh, we fried the heater. Uh... Interesting, that's not good. Can't operate it from here. Korski? Are you there? Chen? I'm here. Where are you? What's going on? I'm hiding. Hiding from whom? Adwa? Yes. He's been acting so weird all day, and now, now Parker's dead. She's dead, Korski. Adwa thinks I killed her. 
I know what he said. I overheard your conversation. So you know he's looking for you. <coughs> Pardon me. I know too much and not enough. Um, listen to me. Don't trust him, okay? Just don't. Okay, okay, I won't. But I still think Parker had an accident. You mean like your crash landing? No, there are too many things going horribly wrong here. Too many things going wrong. Where are you, Chen? No offense, but I'd rather keep to myself for a while. Still don't do anything stupid, okay? I think I hear someone coming. Chen? Oh well, at least she seemed okay. Okay. Chen is apparently using the title of some dirty magazine as part of her workstation password. What? Where did you get gather that from? The lights outside went out. Probably means that something is very is wrong with the generators. Agua seems to think I killed Parker and has me locked up in here. Chen, on the other hand, is suspecting Adwa. Either way, I'm not just gonna sit here waiting. Title of some dirty magazine is part of her workstation password. Uh, can I use the wire on the heater? That does not need heating or cooling. Hose on the heater. Manual. I don't think this is this manual is for the heating unit. Okay. Ooh. Can I mess with this again? Seems to be locked. I didn't know you could do that. Uh. Okay, what the hell am I missing in here? Surely I'm not missing something in the bathroom, right? No need for a toilet, eh? Okay. Can't interact with these bunks. Bottom one's chins. Uh, okay. Nothing here. Locked. Well, what about my locker? I don't keep anything useful. Okay, um... Holy, it cracked the wall open. Okay, I was not expecting that. I turned the heat all the way back down. Okay. Go outside now. Um, tarp. What's the tarp? Nothing useful here, really? We covered some boxes to protect them from the snow. Behind tent. What is this? Old broken boxes. Empty gas container. Bin. It's for waste. Bin. Various scrap. It's always full. Can I interact with any of these? This could be useful. What did I pick up? A radio. Yeah. Why was it in there? What about this? Nothing, I guess. Nothing but ashes. Fritz of frozen cardboard. Uh, okay. Empty boxes. Think I'll leave it. It's empty and horribly heavy. Okay, so I got a radio. Well... Can I go behind some of these other ones? What else am I missing? Can we go in this tent? Locked. It always is. Chen's the only one entrusted with a key. Is this a different behind tent over here? No, it's not. 
Okay. Can I go into this one then? Oh. It's hotter than usual in here. Generators. Box. The lid is locked with screws. Some kind of control box. Display. Check the display. It says insufficient coolant pressure. There are no controls active. Front chassis is just half of the actual machinery. The rest is hidden in the closed off back room. They're completely silent, which means that everything is running on batteries for now. They don't operate from here. They don't operate from here. Toolbox. I didn't get anything? It's an old squeaky toolbox. Oh, I did. Metal shears. Uh... Okay, do we use the wires? Do we use the manual? The manual seems to be made for machinery like this, but I still don't quite get it. Display? I have no idea what to look for. Great. Okay, I... I don't know what else to do in here. It has got to be something back here in this generator room. What else can I... What about the washer? Generator doesn't need one of these. The box. Okay. Why does the washer open this, like... Okay. I think it's part of the coolant system. Looks like something... Like a, missing a pipe or a hose or something. Looks like I need several short hoses instead of the long one. Can you use the manual on this? This, oh, this might be something. Manual pressure leveling. To level coolant pressure, connect maintenance exhaust taps according to scheme 6. Unfortunately, it doesn't say what scheme 6 is or where to find it. Okay, so if I need several short... Okay, I cut it into several pieces. Bits of hose. Hey. Okay. Now what? There seems to be no infusion at all in there. Wire? Won't do any good. Manual again? Hmm. Well. Put the pipe on the box, no? I don't know what the radio is for. Shears on the box? Well, I got somewhere, but... Now I don't know what to do. Seems to be no infusion at all in there. Okay. Controls active. Hmm. Hose. Oh. Okay. <coughs> Pardon me. Oh dear. These taps can be connected to level and raise coolant pressure. Somehow. Oh man. So are we just connecting one to the other or are we connecting them across or what are we doing? Does this... Okay, so that works like that. That sounded like it did something. What about this to this? No, that... Oh, great. Uh, this to this? <clears throat> Excuse me, this to this? <clears throat> Pardon me. This to this? Okay, how about backwards? This to this? 
Or wait, maybe we have to go across? Wow, this could... This could take a while. Wait a minute. Okay, coolant si what? Coolant system seems to be working again. <laughs> okay. Uh, I got the generator coolant working. This generators are still silent though. Is this like a control panel? This is too complicated. Okay, how about use the manual? Let's see here. Coolant system pressurized. Yep. Contact supervising engineer. I don't think so. Here it is. Use the default restart function to manually start generators. Hey, there we go. Generators are restarting. Okay. Generators are running again. The mast should be sending out navigation signals for the rescue lander. I wonder where the others are. Okay, so I guess we're done in here. Lights are on. Can I go into this tent yet? Locked. Always is. Chen's the only one entrusted with a key. Okay, what about back in here? Uh, wait a minute. Did we use the radio? Looks pretty broken on closer inspection. Use the wire on it? That won't work with the radio, you kidding me? Sure we don't use the washer on the radio. Uh, how about the technical manual? That won't work with the radio. Great. Um, okay, maybe back there's those other tools in here. Will those work? For the... Radio? Screwdriver on the radio? I'm definitely never going to get that radio working. Component. I think I've seen this little gadget somewhere before. But I can't remember where. Uh, battery and a component. Oh, wait. Funny. I clicked on the mask, by the way. I examined it. That little thing on the side looks just like... Hmm. Ah. It's a comm circuit. The same components that I found on the radio. Looks a bit melted, though. I found that component from the broken radio is a comm circuit. There's another one in Parker's breathing mask. Another broken one in Parker's breathing mask as well. So do we use the pliers on the mask? Okay, I got the fried circuit out of there. So then we use the circuit on the mask. Now this should fit right in there. There. Uh, I replaced the old fried carm circuit in Parker's mask with a new one. Okay. Now do I take the mask? Testing, testing. Can anybody hear me? Guess not. Uh, no one's responding when I use it though. I might try it again later. Well, the, this is Korsky. Does anyone read? Oh. Guess not. <sighs> I may try it again later. Well, crap, what do I do now? That took me long enough to... Clicking on everything to figure out. What do I do now? Am I hearing something? Go back outside for a minute. No? Oh, I gotta put the tools back. Okay, can I go back out now? Damn. 
Not exactly sure what to do now. Control box? She's still... Okay, gotta have Chen change her password to a proper one. She's still using her own tag number. In addition with some... Dirty magazine she's been reading in the bathroom lady. In, bathroom lady? <laughs> Lately. <laughs> Sorry, my brain's kind of fried at this point. I've been going at this game for a while. I still cracked in 30 seconds. Okay, so I could maybe work out Chen's password, but where do I even use it? Did I miss something in the bathroom? Her tag number. I wonder if this is Chen's tag number. 1140108. One, one, let me write some stuff down, hold on. Okay, let's go back to that other tent and see if I missed something in the bathroom. I still, maybe it's just that other computer that's in there. Maybe if I... Sink. I didn't click on that before. The water smells like ammonia and takes a lifetime to get warm. Filtration unit. It may get the radiation and toxic stuff out, but not the smell or the foul taste. Said something... Said something about Chen reading a magazine in the bathroom. What about Chen's bunk? The bottom one is Chen's bed. Oh, wait a minute. What's this? <laughs> Oily Stallions Illustrated. Ugh. Looks like Chen's been hiding contraband literature in her mattress. <laughs> Found a copy of Oily Stallions in Chen's mattress. She's apparently been using it part of her workstation password. So, along with her tag number, which I wrote down, 1140108. So it's some sort of combination of the two? Let's go back to that other computer in here. Can I even use this? Is this Chen's workstation or what? It is. The People's Mining Company prospecting for progress. Log, use both name and tag number. So, example login name, then tag number. Okay, uh, so... Chen, is there a 1140108? Oh, zero, 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 uh, oh, oh, password, uh, confirm, password, is it the uh, Oily stallions. <laughs> Password probably wouldn't have the line in it, so one one four zero one one oh eight. Lot oh, great. Okay, so name. Okay, maybe without the maybe just the numbers. I don't see any dashes in that. So chin. One one four zero one zero eight. Password. Maybe backwards, maybe the numbers, then the name. One one four zero one zero eight. Oily stallions. Is plural, right? Yeah. Hey. Okay. Database. Geologist, camp administrator, assisting geologist, pilot assisting technician, unqualified. Technician. Detailed inmate data must be requested from Corrections Department. Okay. Documentation. Uh, personnel data. Oh, that's what I already clicked on. Was it database the first one I clicked on? Yeah. Okay. Schedule. Uh, that's not anything. Temporary. Trash bin. Deleted it since 1st June. Note trash bin is cleared out at the end of each month. Oh. 
Message one. Progress to you. There has been some unforeseen development since our last update. Things have to be handled with great discretion. I received a report from statistics department this morning which showed that we are about to overstep the estimated result plan for the project. This is a major, major problem since result plans are integrated with department funding basis and cannot be revised on the fly. In other words, if your results exceed expectations, company will cut down our budget. <laughs> For me, this will indub indubitably lead to unofficial disciplinary actions from the management. For you as camp administrator, it will most likely mean no reduced sentence since the project will be labeled as a failure and a feature at, what, at one of corrections facilities. I trust you realize how serious this situation is and that you know what steps need to be taken. I did not care how you solve this, but the original June samples must not leave the camp. You also have to perform a complete on-site mainframe wipe to remove any traces of this correspondence. Do not save this message. Do not write any of this down. Do not discuss this matter with anyone. Uh, message 2. From Geeringer. Hey Chen, just need to double check something. I'm sending this as a private just in case. We managed to scrape together all your requests for the next shipment pretty easily. Not that much on the list this time however that magazine you ask for shipping system gives me warning beeps about it doesn't look like blacklist so it's not contraband or anything but i think we're dancing on the outer edge of corrections at ed edificatory ed 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 literature policy sorry tongue twister so it's your call really i won't be a it won't be a penal offense on my end materials department guy okay from parker Message has been autocorrected in line with corrections edifico ed 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 what guidelines. Uh, unsuited. Basically, fuck you, Chen. You know perfectly well it's my job to perform workstation security checks, so what's your fucking problem? And why aren't you at your desk? Oh, and by the way, if you threaten me again, I'll fucking break your nose. I'm gonna guess that's what it is. Anyways. Okay, uh, that was a trash bin. Let's try system... It's the same thing. Notes. Nope. Research. Nope. Messages. From Parker. Get here now. Where the fuck are you, Chad? I've been trying to find you all morning. We need to get through the shipment today. So wherever you're, you're at, tuck away your pornography and get your pretty little butt over here pronto. I'm in the lab, you know, the tent where you're supposed to be working. Okay. I mean, so we got into... Parker's... So, Chen was assigned to sabotage the shipment I was carrying. I believe she has some explaining to do. Better go find her. Oh, hey. This is Korsky. Does anybody read? Found yourself a transmitter, have you? Very perceptive of you. Then I suppose you are not locked up anymore. You're a real psychic, Adwa. What are you what what are you what ah <laughs> pardon me, what are you up to? I was looking at the central mainframe. How did you get access to that? I have my methods. Now I'm not that familiar with computer systems and stuff like that, but But it looks to me as if someone's been wiping data. Quite a clumsy job, too. Possibly done in a hurry. Know anything about that? I don't even have a login. You could have been using somebody else's. Like you're doing now, for instance. I can see that both Parker and Chen are logged in. I was checking Chen's messages. Yes, I saw those. The ones that she threw away. Quite a clumsy job. Quite a clumsy job, indeed. Keep this line open. I'll contact you when I know a bit more, okay? Okay, but I'm not going to sit here and wait, you hear me? Okay. Generators are running again. Okay. Ad doesn't seem to think I'm responsible for Parker's death anymore. Chen's mail revealed that she was assigned to sabotage the shipment I was carrying. Apparently, she has also been deleting files from the camp mainframe archive. What have you been up to, Chen? So Chen ought to have a key. Drawers are locked. I looked at everything on the computer. Um, uh, okay. 
away. Um, back to wondering what the hell to do next, I guess. Because I... I don't think I can get back into here yet. Yeah, it's locked. It always is. Chen's the only one trust me. She could only be so many places. Is she hiding under the tarp? Oh, boy. I don't know. I'm going to start looking around again. I'll let you know if I figure something out. Okay, I was just scrolling around out here and I noticed that ice right here is highlighted. Or it has a, like, an interact. I still have a battery and a wire I don't know what to do with. The ice is stuck to the ground. This cliff provides some shelter from the storms. Better leave it alone. But what about the ice? What do I use the pipe on it? Not sharp enough to work as an ice pick. What about the shears? You kidding. I managed to loosen the piece of ice. Okay. I collected a piece, a lump of ice. Why? What do I use it to bash this open? That's I have a pipe. <sighs> yeah. Gotcha. Snow seems to be too dry to stick on it. Okay. Great. No, I'm totally... What the hell would I use a lump of ice on? Oh, time to start clicking on things. That will not get rid of the ice. Get rid of the ice. Well, I already fried the heater. What else? Maybe the generators? Why Why do I need to melt the ice, though? No. Oh. Korski, you there? Yes. Found Chen yet? No, but I'm working on it. <coughs> Excuse me. I still don't get it. Why would she murder Parker? I don't know. Cover up? Cover up? She stopped the test samples from leaving, and now she intends on stopping us from telling anyone about it. Basically. So you think Chen was responsible for my crash as well? Well, I don't know if it was her, but someone probably was. Computer says that someone called Nav Data Package was sent to your- or something called Nav Data Package was sent to your transporter a few seconds before the signal was lost. That is never done automatically. Potentially dangerous? If the data is faulty, absolutely. It could basically change the readings of every instrument in the craft, telling it that up is down and left is right. And down you tumble. What do we do now? Now I'm gonna look for Chen. I think I know where she's headed. Good, let's go. No, you stay here and have a look at the mast. Something must have happened when power got back on. It's not broadcasting at all right now. Wait, splitting up is a really bad idea right now. Too late, I'm already on my way. Where to? Your transporter, of course. The samples are still in there, remember? She's gonna wipe going there to wipe them out. In order for her little scheme to work, now get up to the mast or the rescue people won't be able to land. Was just up there. Hello? Adwa? Maybe I was. The mast shut down when power went out. It's not turning back on again. It needs to work, or the rescue people won't be able to land safely. Well, all I could do with it was mess with the ice. Maybe I need to go back up there. Locked. The key used to hang from a string on the side. I can see a string, but the key seems to be gone. Wait, is the key in the lump of ice? Did it- I picked up the ice from the ground. How the hell would I... Any of these work? Locked. Okay, I just had a thought. Seems kind of... Bizarre. 
But didn't they say the toilet turns things into ash? <laughs> okay, that should get rid of the ice. Let's just hope that whatever it was in it was fireproof. So do I need to go back out to the, uh... That's an interesting way to have a toilet. Do I need to go back out behind the tent to that bin where the waste goes? Behind tent. This bin, right? Okay, I had it opened. The remains of my snowball should have ended up in here. I can't see anything but ashes though. Hmm. Okay. Okay, the wire worked on the pipe. So, the pipe washer. Key wouldn't make sense. That wouldn't work. Wait a minute. I don't know what to do with these. What the hell? This- oh, this might work as an electromagnet. Okay. Do we use this to find... Got something. So this is what the lump of ice was hiding. A key. Okay. So now do we go back up to the mast and use the key on the control box? The magnet found a spark plug in the snow. Spark plug. Okay, well, let's go back up to here. Use the key on the control box. Right. What do you know? It's funny, my mind was going somewhere else with the, the wire and the battery thing. I thought he was going to make like a little fire to see. Not make a freaking magnet, but okay. How do you know it worked? One of the fuses in here is in there is seriously baked. This is probably why the mast is dead. Now, where was that spare fuse? There was a spare fuse in the refrigerator, wasn't there? You said you didn't need it at the time. I'll take the fuse. This might just be what I need to fix the mast. It might just be. Who needs a fridge like in a place like this anyways? Fair point. But you don't want things getting turned into popsicles. All right, so we use the fuse on the control box. The old fuse is still stuck in there. I might... I need to get it out somehow. How about the metal shears? These have sufficient insulation to be safe, I hope. There we go. The old fuse literally crumbled to dust. Okay, so now can we put this one in there? Hey. Oh, it broke. Too strong a current, I guess. I should have figured that out. This looks pretty bad. Okay, so now I have a broke- do I have to repair the fuse? <laughs> it keeps being one thing after another. Well, let's go back to the workshop. <clears throat> Maybe some of those tools I left behind or something? Or left in the shop, that is. Thick syringe needles, huh? This fuse will hold for anything now. Seriously? That was it? I used the fuse on... Okay. I was thinking, what's the one... One of the things I haven't used yet? <clears throat> and that was the jar of syringe needles. So, okay, we repaired the fuse. Let's come back up here. Okay, use the fuse on the control box. Hmm. Something is still not right. What? Oh, no. Homemade high voltage equipment. Not my favorite thing to fiddle with, me either. Oh, dear. Not that I really know anything about this piece of patchwork machinery. Parker never let me go near it, let alone work with it. The mast is still not getting any power, even though the fuses seem okay. I wonder if these switches control the current somehow. 
You're gonna make me click a thousand switches? Um... Okay, there's three positions. What are these? Fuse. Do we have to do it until the fuses light up or these lights light up? Oh boy, this could take a while. Okay, got one. That didn't take forever or anything. Okay, let's go on to the other one. Try them all one way first, I guess. Nope. Okay, we got a second one. It's not difficult, it's just time consuming because there's like a bunch of different combinations you can do here. Oh. They're all on. Looks like the mast is up and running again. Hallelujah. Uh, and there goes Adwo. Adwa. I'm already on my way? Yeah, he wasn't telling the truth. My ours. <laughs> he was already on his way. He just wanted me to beat me to the crash site. I don't get it. He came out from behind this tent. Let's go over here. Last time I checked, I could, still couldn't get inside, though. It's locked. I'll have to go around the back. Garage. Snowmobile. Hook. Don't have anything heavy to lift. Light. Broken beyond my repair skills. Flex winders. What are these? Contains flex winders for powering and recharging various tools. I don't have anything that... No, that doesn't go there. Okay. Spark plug. Snowmobile. <clears throat> Something is definitely wrong. Can we use the spark plug on the snowmobile? They should go in the engine. Right. There's only... There is only this one left, which means that Adwa and Chen took the other two. Storage. They're just big crates with stuff I don't need down there. Yeah, they should go in the engine, so put them in the engine. They? Oh, there we go. Can I do it now? No use until I have four of them. How did I find the first one? I was walk- I picked it up with my magnet? If you're gonna make me walk around this entire place picking up magnets, or with my magnet until I find spark plugs. Uh, there doesn't seem to be anything else I can do in here. Hey. Someone's been pulling out the spark plugs, and it doesn't look like maintenance work. Oh, boy. I need to fix it. I do need to find spark plugs. Well, what the? I guess I haven't had the magnet that long. Outside. Magnet found another spark plug. I need four. That's fantastic. <laughs> Nothing useful. Uh, I have a feeling this is going to take a while. Gonna guess they're all outside, but I guess I'll check everywhere. Oh! I found one, just... random spot out in the open. I guess I should check inside the light. Oh! Okay, that wasn't so bad. I was thinking maybe they were going to be at entrances to, uh... Okay, wait a minute. Entrances to tents or something. Let's go back to the garage. 
Okay, spark plugs. That's all the plugs in place. Can I use it now? Oh man. I can hear the plugs igniting but still won't start. What about this thing? I might be able to breathe some life into that snowmobile with one of these cords. At least it's worth a try. There, that should give it some boost. But there's no... I was gonna say, there's no power in here. The cord doesn't seem to help. I wonder if the power might be turned off or something. Well, there's no light on. Should we go back to the generator? Is there something we can do there? Okay, um... Status... Okay... Output... Tent 2 is off. Turned off, back off. Can I turn off another one? Like, tent 3? Okay, now that has power. Can do we have power back in here? Hey, that's more like it. Time to get some answers. Chapter four: Answers. I have a feeling we're near the end at this point. Seems like I've been playing this for forever. I have no idea what my full play time is yet. So this is where it ends, eh? What are you gonna tell Korsky when you get back? Don't you worry about that. I'll think of something. He knows what you did, Parker. What you did to Parker, you know. Your hands are no cleaner than mine. As far as he is concerned, they are. Speak of the devil. What are you talking about? Alright, you know what? What just happened? I accidentally clicked tab. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, let me save here. Let me load. I just missed something. No, 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 no. Load game. Damn it. Do I have to load all the way back because I messed up? Ugh. I clicked tab because I wanted to save the game. And it skipped something. Okay, I gotta... I'm gonna have to go back. Uh... <laughs> At least I know what to do now, so I'll be right back. Okay. You left in a hurry. You shouldn't have come... You shouldn't have come here, Korsky. And why is that? More shady business to attend to? Is that a gun? It is. The plan was to shoot me and let me take the blame for this mess. But little Chen is of course completely innocent, right? You can talk. You were pulling the strings all along. I never told you to hurt anyone. Wait, wait, you never told her to do what? What strings are you talking about? You're slow, aren't you? Don't listen to Rikorsky. She's messing with your head. Humor me. Meet Comrade Nayar of the Office of Prospecting. Ah. Who? The project officer? Uh-huh. I found out when I was digging through the mainframe for files to delete. Which is rather ironic, really, since he's the one who told me to do it. You weren't supposed to do a complete wipe, damn it. Not sit and read- oh, you were. Not sit and read through high clearance company documents. <clears throat> what are you doing on this rock anyway? Management wanted me on site to supervise the drilling. 
They said this would be my chance to redeem myself after some crap that wasn't even my fault to begin with. Not that they cared. So what happened? The progress report happened, that's what. What report? You read the correspondences, did you not? It was basically a statistics report about us exceeding the estimated result plan for the project. Meaning? Meaning that we were doing too damn good. The project would have been labeled a failure and they would have had would, and they would have blamed us for it. So all this because of a stupid statistics report. And everything went out of hand. Or rather, Chen here went out of hand. He told me to stop the shipment or they would send me to a prison colony. You almost killed me, Chen. There wasn't enough time. I never got a chance to swap the boxes. And what about Parker? Tell him about her. I panicked, okay? She was watching everything I did like a hawk, and I panicked. So you killed her? It was an accident. She was supposed to fall asleep. I never meant to hurt her. You're crying out loud. And now you, Nayar, or Adwa, or whatever your name is, you're cleaning the slates, right? Now look here. Why else would you want to get here before I did? Because he wanted to make sure both me and the samples disappeared, that's why. And then what? What would you do when, you, when the work over here was done? Take me out as well? Well, I must admit, the idea has crossed my mind. Oh. Oh. Oh, now she has the gun. Ooh, that was close. <coughs> Excuse me. I hope you didn't whack him too badly there. I'm sorry, Korski. Oh, hell no, you're not gonna shoot me. I can't let you talk to people. What do you mean? They'd send me to another camp. I'm not going to one of those camps again. What the? Handcuffs? You gotta be kidding me. Enough killing, comrade. You're not going anywhere. Well, neither are you, comrade. Oh. Oh. I guess it was for the best. Come on. <laughs> hey, stop. I sound so convincing, right? Oh. Okay. What the hell do I do now? Pack box. First aid kit. I have a gun? A flare gun. Lump. Nothing but medical equipment and flare gun shells in here. What's this? I got snow. Uh... Why would I fire a flare? What are you trying to do? Call for help? Give up, Korski. Uh... What in the hell do I do? I I was supposed to do something when Chen was standing, wasn't I? He's behind cover. Do I throw the lump of snow at her? Can I shoot another one? Can I throw the snow at you? Uh... I'll get you for that. Can I shoot her with the flare gun for crying out loud? Oh! What did- <laughs> Oh, that's one way to do it. I thought I was, I was kidding. Oh, I guess that's it. I think, unless it carries on beyond this, but it feels like the end to me. What a hell of a way to die.
Uh, yeah. You're, f you're screwed. Chen? Can you hear me? Uh-oh. Um... See you later, Korski. Oh, man. Oh. Didn't quite kill me, eh? Well. Hope you can find peace now, wherever you are. Still. Good riddance. Oh, there's the rescue party. Of course, they're late. Maybe Parker was right. Maybe there is a way to forget about this place. Getting away from it is a good start, I guess. Getting away. Still, not going home. Because I don't really know where home is anymore. We've covered this. Okay. That is the end. I really like that game. It's uh, very different from something I'd normally play, but a very The Thing vibe to it. But I mean, I played that for hours and hours. I got stuck a lot. I had to take a break because I got frustrated a few times. But it did keep me hooked long enough to want to know what it happened. And it was pretty cool. I like that one, especially for a, f a free game. That was pretty awesome. Like I said, it had a very The Thing vibe to it. It's interesting. But anyways, guess that'll about do it for me. Yeah, it's surprising. I wasn't, uh, I was expecting it to be like 20 minutes long, and I wasn't expecting it to, uh, capture my attention that much. But that was, that was pretty damn cool. Well, alright. Hope you guys enjoyed that adventure. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys later in another random game or elsewhere. So, take it easy.